Coworker gets me fired. My many years waiting for revenge. So I worked for Company A for almost a decade, that had a small team consisting of 10 people doing commissioned work for businesses in my city. The owner treated us like family, knowing that we worked long and hard days, sometimes up to 60 hours a week. He paid us better than expected, bonuses and perks, he negotiated with businesses that commissioned our work, even gave the whole company a week off when his son was getting married so we could attend it. We had our squabbles like any other family and things weren't always bright and perfect, but this is to show how nice the owner treated his employees and didn't screw me over. After working there for years, the manager position came open. Since by then I was one of the most senior workers with Company A, I thought I would apply, which had a few others interested do as well. I didn't get the position, mainly because despite my experience at Company A, I didn't have a business administration degree. Someone who worked for owner did, so we got it. Realizing the education I would have to get and the demand of the job, I thought long and hard and concluded that if I wanted to go anywhere in life, I would have to get that degree. Coming right out of high school to work for Company A was great, but if I wanted to do something more, I would have to go to university. I talked to the owner and gave my two weeks notice. When I explained what I wanted to do and why, he understood that I was trying to make something of myself. This all becomes relevant later, I promise. Going to university, I found that I had tuition covered through government grants, but not things like food, rent, etc. So I looked around and eventually found work at Company B. Company B was a retail store with a bigger staff than I'd been used to, somewhere around 50 employees, but had such a huge employee turnaround that it was scary at times. They dealt with a wide range of goods from groceries to very expensive items. They had a certain niche clientele that they could order items for and cater to. I ended up working part-time in the warehouse and answered to the warehouse supervisor, who answered to the manager. There were other supervisors for other parts of the store, but for this, only the sales supervisor is relevant. Skip forward seven years. In that time, I got my BA degree and worked at Company B the whole time, going from part-time to full and eventually applied for the warehouse supervisor position. I was interviewed, got the job, been supervisor for months when the manager and I hired Kay as a warehouse clerk. Kay isn't the one to get revenge, but she played a crucial part in the revenge. Then, Bitch gets hired. Bitch started out as a cashier, working quickly up the chain and brown nosing as many co-workers as possible, including the manager. When a sales rep went on maternity leave, Bitch quickly jumped at the chance to work in sales and ended up permanently being a part of the team, then the sales supervisor soon after. Me and Bitch got along like oil and water. We butted heads over things constantly. She would tell the manager all the small things that I did, but called me a snitch when I reported the issues she was causing. She would badmouth me and the warehouse staff, take over me at meetings, and try to take credit for my ideas. She openly told co-workers that I was the cause of many issues and couldn't wait for me to leave. Oh, and she was never at fault. It would be the customer's fault, my fault, the delivery driver's fault, another co-worker's fault, etc. There were times when we got together well, but far and few between. I get fired. So one day, a very, and I mean very, expensive ring set, over $5,000 I found out later, ordered by one of our customers, comes in. Years ago, I set up a procedure for any type of jewelry so that it will not get lost or stolen. The last step is, once we've done everything with it in the warehouse, we take it to the office and have someone put it in the safe immediately. This particular time, I was the one who received the rings, so once going through the procedure, told Kay that I was taking it to the office. The only one available who had the combination to the safe was Bitch. I asked her if she could open the safe, she looked at me, looked at the jewelry box in my hand, then said, put it down here on my desk, I'll put it away once I'm done with this email. Keep in mind that me and the bitch had a serious spat over something earlier that day, and I generally didn't feel like being close to her if I could help it. So I never saw her put it in the safe myself. The next day I got a call from the manager to come to the office. I headed there to find manager bitch and the HR consultant. They pull in when some real shit hits the fan. The manager tells me that the ring set has disappeared. I tell them the procedure I followed, and last I saw them with was bitch. Manager tells me that bitch checked the box and said the box was empty. The manager then pulls the box out. Sure enough, the box the rings were in was indeed empty. I swear to the manager that the rings were inside when I checked them before giving them a bitch. At this point, it's my word against hers. 
By a stroke of bad luck, the in-store video recorder had broken down days before the incident, so there was no way to verify what happened. We all know someone has to take the blame for this, and that's when Bitch strikes, saying that it was my fault since it was last seen in my hands. The manager asks if this is true. Then I realize that, yes, I was indeed the last person to touch the thing, and I never actually saw Bitch pick up the box. Bitch gives me a look that screamed, GOTCHA! Manager and the HR consultant ask us both to leave. After what seemed like forever, I get called in. Manager tells me that since I was responsible for the rings at the time and now that they are lost, they would be firing me. But since they had no proof as to whether I stole the rings or not, they wouldn't press charges, which scared the crap out of me as this was the first time I heard of them thinking this. I go back to the warehouse, tell Kay and the other warehouse clerks what just happened, grab my personal belongings, and left that day. After a couple of weeks of trying to get my head around what happened and weighing my options, I decide my first priority is to try to get some sort of job and consider it lucky if I get a job flipping burgers with a bad rep when they ask Company B. I call the owner of Company A to get a good reference on them and explain what happened and why I was calling, only to get the shock of a lifetime. The manager position was about to open. The guy who I lost the position to was retiring soon due to complicated health reasons. The owner had kept tabs on me while at university and understood when I didn't immediately come back to him, but with a golden opportunity like this, he wanted me back and I wasn't going to say no. I dive into my new job I originally wanted with an owner I enjoyed working for. I thought then and there everything would be behind me, not knowing it would come back, not to bite me, but to pay dividends. The Revenge, Case Side. This I found out after Bitch's reckoning. After I was fired, Kane knew she has to do something about Bitch. Kane knew that I wouldn't lose or steal something like the rings, but also knew that without proof, Bitch would deny that she did it and have Kay in her crosshairs to attack next. So after talking with her husband, she hatched a plan. She started hanging out with Bitch, telling her things like, I'm so glad he's gone, or I wish she had been fired much earlier. Bitch, feeling high from getting rid of one of her thorns in her side, soaked it all in, and after a couple of weeks, invited Kay and Kay's husband, from now on KH, for drinks at her place with her and Bitch's husband, BH. Months pass, K and KH do things regularly together with Bitch and BH, including drinking on weekends and couple related events. When together, K would occasionally badmouth me and Bitch would agree. Finally, after over a year of playing nice, when K and KH were over at Bitch's for one of their drinking parties, K randomly badmouthed me, mentioning the rings in passing. Then Bitch says something K was waiting for. I wanted those rings, so I stole them. Kay, hearing this, asks for more details. KH looks at her, tries to wave her off with one hand, then gives up when Bitch keeps talking. That day, Bitch had stopped writing her email and was going to put the rings in the safe. The safe was open and she was about to put the rings away when Bitch had an idea. See, as mentioned above, Bitch wanted me gone from Company B. She also wanted those rings. She also knew that the cameras weren't working. She figured that she could pocket the rings, tell the manager they were missing, and spin it so I could take the blame. Kay then asks where are the rings now, and Bitch, being too drunk and not seeing a reason not to brag, not only tells her, but shows her where they are in the room. All while KH had been recording the whole conversation on his phone, the hand waving was him saying it started recording. Kay gives a copy of the recording to the manager the next workday. Police are called immediately, Bitch is arrested, and her house raided. They find the rings, K and KH give the recording and testimony to the police, I get a call from the prosecutor's office, she's charged with theft of over $5,000 among other things. I testify without hesitating for a second. Here the revenge was best served, frozen. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to Reddit Originals for more videos like this. Oh, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our videos. We upload a video each day, so stay tuned.